NASA invested $10 billion to build the James Webb Space Telescope, a machine designed to peer deeper into the cosmos than humanity ever has before. Its promise was to show us the universe as it looked not long after the Big Bang. The results, however, have gone far beyond expectation. The latest findings have shaken the foundations of modern astrophysics, prompting NASA to issue a rare red alert. For decades, scientists believed they had constructed a workable framework to explain the structure and evolution of the universe. Webb's revelations now suggest something far more vast, intricate, and complex than anyone imagined, forcing humanity to rethink not only cosmic history but the very laws believed to govern reality. The telescope was built to capture faint light from the first galaxies, to watch the cosmos emerge from darkness into form. Instead of fragile beginnings, Webb has revealed immense, mature galaxies existing at a time when theory insisted such structures should not yet exist. These clusters shine brilliantly, fully formed in epochs that should have been chaotic and sparse. If galaxies appeared this early and this developed, either our timeline of cosmic evolution is flawed or the processes driving formation are vastly misunderstood. What was expected to be a gradual unfolding now looks like a rapid, almost explosive development of order and structure. The shock goes deeper. Astronomers anticipated that galaxies would thin out at extreme distances, but Webb has shown layer after layer stretching endlessly with no discernible edge. Each image presents a tapestry of light, galaxies upon galaxies, each with billions of stars and possibly countless planets. The abundance is overwhelming. The true size of the universe may be orders of magnitude larger than anyone previously dared to calculate. With that immensity comes a staggering implication. If there are this many galaxies, each filled with countless worlds, the odds of life existing elsewhere rise exponentially. The question of whether humanity is alone now feels less like speculation and more like an illusion of our limited vision. Yet with every answer comes a destabilizing question. If galaxies matured so quickly, did we misunderstand the cooling of matter after the Big Bang? If light from distant objects arrives brighter and faster than expected, are we missing aspects of physics itself? The very forces that shape the universe, gravity, dark matter, dark energy, may behave in ways that challenge accepted laws. Webb's instruments, capable of cutting through dust and revealing structures hidden from Hubble, show spirals, clusters, and filaments more organized than they have any right to be at such an early stage. The universe is not just older and larger than expected, it is more structured, as if guided by forces yet unknown. NASA's red alert was not issued as a warning of danger, but as recognition of upheaval. The telescope's discoveries required textbooks to be rewritten and models to be reimagined. Cosmologists must reevaluate the rate of star formation, the architecture of the cosmic web, and even the role of dark matter and energy in orchestrating creation. For the first time, real data may hint at the true nature of the invisible forces that dominate the universe, bridging gaps between particle physics and cosmology. Webb has effectively become a time machine, showing snapshots of creation billions of years old. Each photon is a relic, carrying with it a story of epics that predate human existence by unimaginable spans of time. This window into the past also raises a radical possibility. Perhaps the Big Bang was not the singular beginning we imagined. If mature galaxies existed so early, could there have been hidden cycles before what we call the dawn of the universe? Some scientists now whisper about cosmic histories older than the Big Bang itself. The telescope has not confirmed such theories, but its findings force us to admit our story of time and origin may only be a fragment of a much greater narrative. Webb's power extends beyond galaxies. It can analyze exoplanets, probing their atmospheres for signs of water, methane, or oxygen. If it detects even the faintest biosignature, something out of place, something that whispers of biology, the consequences will be seismic. Human civilization has long believed Earth to be unique, but Webb could prove otherwise. The discovery of life elsewhere, even microbial, would shift philosophy, religion, and science at their core, redefining what it means to exist in the cosmos. Even without that discovery, the sheer diversity of planetary systems, gas giants hugging their suns, rocky worlds orbiting red dwarfs, 
suggests a creativity in nature beyond anything previously conceived. The telescope itself is proof of what humanity can accomplish when united by curiosity and ambition. It unfolded flawlessly in space, mirrors stretching wide, instruments cooled nearly to absolute zero, a triumph of engineering decades in the making. But its success has opened more questions than it has answered. Every revelation deepens the mystery. Every glimpse pushes the horizon further away. Scientists describe the experience as awe mixed with vertigo, as if staring into an abyss of infinite possibility. NASA's red alert is not an alarm of catastrophe but a declaration of revolution. The universe is larger, brighter, more structured, and more ancient than we believe. Webb has torn open the veil, exposing a reality so vast it humbles human ambition while igniting imagination. We stand at the threshold of a new era in which our understanding of time, matter, and life itself must expand. The story of the cosmos has only just begun to unfold, and through the eye of Webb, we glimpse the immensity of a universe. The discoveries of the James Webb Space Telescope have not only expanded our vision of the universe but also forced us to rethink the very frameworks that shaped our understanding of existence. What was once believed to be a stable set of theories about cosmic evolution is now unraveling, giving way to possibilities so profound they demand entirely new paradigms. Among them is the revived notion of the multiverse. The idea that our universe is not singular but one bubble in an endless cosmic sea, each with its own laws and realities. If true, this changes everything. Our finely tuned world is no longer an extraordinary accident but one of countless variations, each unfolding in an ocean of infinite possibility. Far from diminishing our existence, this context magnifies it, situating life as part of a grander, limitless structure. Webb's work connects science with the human spirit in unexpected ways. The telescope's images are not just data points but works of cosmic art, spirals of light, glowing nebulae, and galaxies shimmering like jewels. They evoke wonder, humility, and awe, reminding us that exploration is about meaning as much as knowledge. To confront the immensity of the cosmos is to face two truths at once. We are small yet we are capable of perceiving, imagining, and creating on a scale that bridges billions of years and unthinkable distances. The red alert issued by NASA was not merely a scientific threshold. It was a call to humanity to expand its vision, to embrace both the awe and the responsibility that comes with awareness. The telescope has transformed the questions we ask. No longer is it enough to wonder how the universe began. Now we must ask what lies beyond our current grasp of origins. No longer is it enough to speculate about other worlds. Now we must consider the infinite diversity of worlds and how many of them may already teem with life. Each revelation is not an answer but an opening, reshaping imagination itself. This moment is not an endpoint but a beginning. Webb is paving the way for even greater observatories, instruments that will peer deeper reveal finer detail, and perhaps capture the faint glow of the very first stars. Future missions may show us oceans and continents on distant planets, confirming that life is not unique to Earth. They may map the cosmic web with a precision that makes our current models seem primitive. What web has given us is a foundation for a new era of exploration, one that situates humanity within a universe of staggering scale. Yet this expansion of knowledge carries practical consequences. The telescope's revelations accelerate ambition, pushing engineers and visionaries to imagine what comes next. Not only bigger telescopes but the infrastructure for spacefaring civilizations. Missions to the Moon and Mars now hold a deeper purpose. They are not only about exploring our solar system but about preparing to engage with the universe Webb has revealed. Even the dream of interstellar travel, once the domain of fiction, gains weight in light of Webb's findings. Light sails, fusion drives, and theories of bending spacetime are still distant, but they are now seen as necessary steps in humanity's longer journey. Education too will transform. The neat timelines once taught in schools, of galaxies slowly forming, structure gradually emerging, no longer hold. 
Future generations will be taught a universe that is denser, more complex, and more astonishing than ever imagined. They will not rely on abstract diagrams but will learn through Webb's breathtaking imagery, through virtual and augmented reality experiences that allow them to walk among galaxies and witness cosmic history firsthand. Knowledge itself is being reshaped, not just in content but in form. The philosophical and cultural impacts may be even greater. If the universe is so vast and structured, why does it exist at all? Why these laws and not others? Webb pushes such questions from the realm of speculation into science. It forces us to reconsider our place, not as insignificant specks, but as conscious beings capable of reflection, creativity, and care. If other civilizations exist, as seems ever more possible, then humanity must consider how it will present itself, what responsibilities it carries, and how it might respond to proof that intelligence is not confined to Earth. Art, philosophy, and science now intersect in ways they rarely have before. Webb's images inspire artists as much as astronomers, theologians as much as physicists. Its discoveries are not confined to laboratories. They ripple through culture, sparking curiosity and wonder in people who might never have glanced at the stars before. In this way, the telescope is not just an instrument of science but a catalyst for unity, weaving together perspectives across disciplines and across humanity itself. But there is a sobering reminder within all of this. As we gaze into infinite possibilities, we must not forget the fragility of our home. Earth remains the only known cradle of life, a small oasis in an endless desert of stars. Webb's vision of the cosmos underscores not only the vastness of what lies beyond, but the urgency of protecting the one world we know sustains us. Climate change, environmental decline, and conflict over resources remind us that while the universe may hold countless planets, none are within our reach. The Red Alert is as much about cherishing Earth as it is about marveling at the heavens. The story of the James Webb Space Telescope is ultimately the story of humanity itself, our curiosity, our imagination, and our courage to face the unknown. It is about standing at the threshold of immensity and choosing not to shrink in fear but to reach outward with wonder. Webb has shown us that the universe is greater than we ever imagined. The journey ahead will be daunting, but it is also the greatest adventure our species has ever undertaken.